Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Mr. Stronium, and unfortunately, it's hard times here in Mr. Stronium's world. As you can see, my humble lodgings are very humble, but I like this. I call this a huddle shack, or a huddle hut. That sounds better. We'll call it a huddle hut. And it's just a little shithole. It's very comfortable, and it keeps me dry from the weather. And over there, that's my neighbor's house, and he is doing so much better than me. Damn him. Let's go go through his shit real quick. Th then we'll get to what we were actually going to do today, which is build a houseboat. Whereas this is more of a boat house. Oh, dumbass, don't even lock the door. Can't do that. Let's see what we got inside here. My neighbor doesn't lock anything. Ooh. It's really nice in here. Dry. I love how, even though we're indoors, because it's raining, absolutely everything is shiny and wet. Enough food here. Need drinking water. Maybe we shouldn't go build our own house. Maybe we should just take this one. Uh, but where would the fun be in that? Then you wouldn't watch the video, and then I'd be fucked. What we got upstairs. It's comfy. Let's try this out. This is really exciting. Oh yeah, I look comfortable. How you like my cigarette? Don't smoke, kids. It's nasty. That's why I vape. But this looks really cool. And this is a mod. It's basically just a cigarette mod. I don't know what it's called. Alright, that's enough dilly-dallying. Let's go build a houseboat. I know what you're saying. Oh, you can't make a video in the rain, and fuck, you're right. So let, let's just sleep the weather off. sleep in a sleeping bag, you don't get the well-rested perk. That is bullshit. Oh, it's a glorious day. Alright, so I've just got this very basic setup here, just so that we already had the pieces in place, everything was lined up, so the build would go a lot quicker. Because it took about 15 minutes just to get what, what I have right now, and that would have been a boring fucking video. So, go over to structures. Now, this is from see the mod Port Royal and it gives us a bunch of cool nautical and I guess Far Harbor themed pieces so this is for building barges so they don't snap very hard so you've got to finesse them just there it is sections long, two sections wide. Alright, now I like, to, I like to build my boat houses scrappy, so we're going to be building this some bitch out of wood. build like an engine in the back so we want a little protrusion oh that sounds dirty not not too big of a protrusion just just a little one so that'll do we'll go with the only piece that has a flat roof this thing actually comes in handy on occasions Ooh, almost maybe there it is there it is good job Bethesda you Oh, no, 
Nope, maybe there. Okay. Ooh, this is starting to get a little too exciting. side kind of change things up a little and we want windows Come on. maybe there okay good Ooh. all right I know this is exciting commentary but Let's bear in mind that it is almost 3 a.m. in the morning, and Mr. Strontium is very tired. He's so tired, in fact, he forgot that we're going to have to put a staircase in here. So, we'll put the staircase. Put it right here. All right, that looks good. And we're going to leave these open. These will be like doorways to the back part of the ship. The reason I'm doing this is I, I tinkered around with the barge pieces on another build and built like a small player home boathouse and I put the picture on Twitter and a few people liked it so I thought it'd be interesting to make a video out of it. And after having built the first one and tinkered with it, figured out how it works exactly, I, I wanted to build something bigger that could be used as like a, a small self-contained base. Ooh, that's what I get for talking without paying attention. Let's go ahead and put a roof up here. engine like the smokestack and everything will poke out through here so let's go back over to the metal tab go to the prefabs oh, and there's what we're looking for no we don't want to put that on just yet we want to go get our railing up first a lot of extra crap in the tab all right now when you want to do random railing, this is just the quickest way to do it. Just I'm going to go on to the next one and try not to let them touch too much. Damn, everything I say tonight sounds dirty. Really, you shouldn't let them touch too much. Very bad. Bad things happen. Just like if you feed Mr. Stronium after midnight, bad things happen. So now I, I won't fall off, which is always good because I'm always falling off of shit. And we'll put the wheelhouse on this side, kind of change it up from what we did, well, what I did in the last one. Let's have a look at it from the shore. It's starting to look like a boat, I must say. And you know, we, we've literally been building maybe eight minutes. You know, I spent two minutes screwing around, so we've wasted plenty of time already. Let's put some railing on the actual barge. Fast forward through this part.
Alright, so I'm sure that being in fast motion that wasn't nearly as unbearable as it was for me. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, build our quote engine. So since we'll need power anyway, let's go ahead and throw up our fusion generator. the sun bitch. Damn, and after all that fast motion nonsense, I forgot to put railing on an entire side of the barge. Well, we will worry about that bullshit later. So let's run upstairs real quick and go ahead and hook up our electrical post that the generator will feed into. I know it's not called an electrical post. Get off my back. a rug that actually looks good so that we don't have to get rid of it. and furniture expansion pack section. Go under industrial, one of my favorite tabs. Let's see. Uh, you thought I was going to back off over that edge, uh-uh. I've gotten smart. Oop. I said I was smart, I lied. that. A little, but it doesn't look bad. Screw it, we're going to pull the generator out a little bit further. That's awfully fucking big. Let's just use the normal smokestack. everybody excited about Nuka World? I, I was skeptical at first just because I couldn't imagine making an entire DLC about a beverage themed theme park, but you know, it, it's their game, they can do what they want. I will play it, I will pay money for it, so whatever. Uh, but being a raider sounds fun, and God, I sound like Travis on Diamond City Radio. But anyway, I am really excited about Nuka World, and I can't wait to unleash.
unleash my wrath upon the Commonwealth. You hear me, Commonwealth? I'm coming, and hell's coming with me. Alright, so good ship shit kicker is looking pretty good. And I'm not going to drag you all through the ordeal of actually decorating the son of a bitch. But we will go ahead and put the last few little like boat decorations on it. So again, our good friend at Decorations and Furniture Expansion Pack gives us a ton of just really cool shit. So we'll start with, uh, let's see, Boat Winch. Yes, that, that sounds kinky. We'll put the Boat Winch back here. movie theater out here that would be useful all right now these these are great I like these and because I still got to put the railing there I'm just gonna throw that one down and say I near pretty sure that's all the nautical nonsense it would be like Kevin Costner in Waterworld and grow some oranges yeah that, that'd be great I think I'm actually the only person on earth that enjoyed Waterworld I, I get that feeling a lot actually I definitely enjoyed it. I thought what it lacked in creativity, it made up for in um, chutzpah. Chutzpah would be a good word for it, yes. It, it took balls to make that movie. All right, so let's run off to the shoreline and see how our vessel is looking. That looks like a fucking boat to me, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I'm going to decorate this bad boy, and then I'll get back to you. All right, welcome back, everyone. So, that took about two hours, and it's actually the next day. But we're finally back, and we'll go inside and have a look at what we've done. Honestly, just adding lights to the outside made it look pretty good, but... You know, I never use these stupid looking buoys, and this is actually a time where the buoys are suitable, so. Alright, the basic idea is that this vessel is used to transport cargo and passengers between the mainland and Spectacle Island, which from this point on will hereby be known as the Isle of Strontium, and anyone who tries to challenge our sovereignty will be severely dealt with. We built our mast here out of a telephone pole. It looks pretty sweet, I think. So, here's what we have inside. Uh, good cigarette dispenser because everybody smokes in the apocalypse. Here we have a water cooler. I can't remember which mod this is from, but it actually provides tin water, and I've installed it backwards. So, it's of no use to anyone. Haha, <laughs> I am truly evil. Over here we have a little seating area purified water and plenty of well normally they'd be called bunks but I guess since we're on a boat you'd call it a berth but we have eight berths a small galley a stereo and then back through here is the engine room and as I was saying earlier this is basically a little self-contained settlement so we do have a couple of workshops tucked away in here and I tried them out and they do work even though it's this really cramped area but there wasn't room for a chemistry station because you've got to have a shitter or people are going to be hanging off the side of the boat and it's just going to be a fucking mess and I, I'm not going to be part of that so sanitation is a must and I guess in case you pop a hemorrhoid or something we have the emergency pharmaceutical kit right here we don't take it recreationally we need it for everyone here we have fish that probably needs to go in the freezer because it's got a pretty bad case of herpes you need to put that in the fucking fridge immediately so let's go topside so we've got carrot planters with no carrots in it because nobody showed up to deal with them and I cannot be bothered to steal a line from Davy 
fertilizer, and this is from the Warehouse Shelves mod. Uh, I really love that. Anytime I do agricultural nonsense, I always be sure to add a pallet of fertilizer. We have a little leisure area. And then the Decorations and Furniture Expansion Pack recently had an update, and we've got this fantastic vault console, which looks really good in the wheelhouse since we don't have anything that looks like a ship's wheel. So this is believable. And in the original build, if you'll recall, I had the walls on the bottom deck opened up so you could walk out back, but I sealed them up so we could add more bunk beds, and I just installed a pair of stairs that take us to... Now, everybody get ready to laugh, because I know we're all really mature adults here, but... These stairs lead us out to the poop deck. <laughs> and back here we've got a deck chair so that you can catch some lack of rays because you know you catch a really good tan right now. And here are a few of our fallen brothers that we are bringing back after glorious battle. They have been thoroughly witnessed, witness them. And we are bringing them back to the shores of the Isle of Stranium to be laid to rest in our sacred and hallowed soil. And then we will go back to the Commonwealth and take revenge for their deaths. I hate the Commonwealth. I'm actually not from the Commonwealth, and in a future video I will explain what that means, but Mr. Stranium is not all that he appears to be, other than a fiendish chain smoker. And like I said earlier, don't smoke, kids. It's nasty. But we'll get to Mr. Stranium's horrible and checkered past in upcoming videos. Uh, and the sun's coming up. Now's the time to get out on the deck chairs and catch some rays, but honestly, I don't want a warrior's tan where literally just my neck and shoulders have really, really red burns on them. So, then out here, since I can't really build a crow's nest, I just put a guard post, because as soon as some people show up, I think there's actually a squatter in my hut, and we will go check that out in a minute. But once we have people here, we can have some defense, we'll have agriculture, uh got that water cooler so even though in a realistic situation we would be fucked if that little cooler is all we had but uh, it's going to provide water for 10 people forever so we are good we're not going to erect a purifier or anything right now so let's run over here and uh, see if we got a squatter no oh, that's overkill we want to send a message we don't want to commit an act of terrorism yes this is more appropriate That's what I get for leaving the door open. Let's go check my neighbor's house. I still hate my neighbor. Look at this. He, his house is so much nicer than mine. So now, my boat's bigger than your boat. Fuck your flamingos. It's tacky. Only tacky people have pink flamingos. This man has no class. It was just a figment of my imagination. I thought someone else was on the island with me. Maybe I'm just getting paranoid. Aha! I knew it! Who the hell is this guy? that mutes the uh, main character's voice because honestly he looks like a raider but he sounds like a used car salesman and that breaks my immersion like a motherfucker so I will be providing the dialogue for our protagonist it would probably be helpful if I had his voice turned up though but we'll worry about that for the next video hey let me trade some shit with you there we go yeah you are severely underarmed. Let's see what we got real quick, and then we'll wrap up the video. But it's kind of fun. Plus, this is a good uh, starting point for when uh, Nuka World comes out, because I will be doing a Let's Play, and it will be a role-play Let's Play. I'm not going to be from Vault 111, and I don't have a wife, and I don't have a child. So we can get all that complicated shit out of the way. Well, I don't really have anything for you, my friend, but next time we meet, I will have some hellacious firepower for you. Yeah, we'll give you the triple barrel pipe shotgun. That is also from a mod that I think is basically just called Pipe Shotguns. 
ammo, shotgun shell. I have way too much ammo. I got more ammo than the National Rifle Association. Well, after the apocalypse has happened, I think I am the National Rifle Association. So here's you a shotgun, my friend, and we'll get you some more respectable looking raider attire for the next video. You embarrass me. Hmm. Well, that was a thorough dressing down. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope you liked the boat. And, you know, feel free to build your own boats, and send me pics of it on Twitter. I love to see pictures of people's stuff, because then I steal your designs and use them as my own. What? I'm a raider. You're going to be surprised I steal? Oh, please. Don't you get all high and mighty with me. You knew what this was when you walked into it. So, the generic part of the video where I say like, comment, subscribe, retweet, share, all that, please do. I just don't like saying it all the time because it sounds fake, but I do appreciate it, and uh, it's great when you guys do that. It lets me know that you're enjoying what I do, and it encourages me to make more videos. See, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing with the thumbstick. I'm concentrating on what I'm saying, so uh, Mr. Stronium is having a seizure at the moment. But, it's going to first person. And the good ship, the SS shit kicker, is ready for another day at sea. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video, everyone. Thank you so very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.